Listen, men will tell women anything to get a blowjob off them. You know, in the streets, I've knocked out three women. Yeah, my dad was in prison and my mum was on drugs. <laughs> he looks like a black skeleton. Why would it be rape? Posse and views. Be safe. Posse and views. Be safe. Is your deck causing you sleepless nights? Be safe. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you know. Yeah, you know, Anthony Joshua was trying to bully me the other day, you know. He was trying to really put it on me the other day, Joshua. Let me tell you what happened. I was in the Ingle gym getting interviewed with Kid Galahad by this YouTube channel called Pep Talk UK. And after the interview, Pep Talk UK said to me that he was going to interview Joshua Boazzi. You know, at the Institute of Sport, where Robert McCracken trains Joshua Boazzi and Anthony Joshua. So Pep Talk UK said to me, do you want to go as well? So I said, yeah. So he we went to the gym and we walked in and I sat down on one side of the gym and Joshua was on the other side of the gym. And uh, he was like looking at me like that. And then he went like that. And then I went like that. And I could see him just keep looking at me. Like, you know, looking all suspicious. And then I started texting this woman who is one of society's rejects. And then I looked up and I seen Joshua walking towards me. And I sat down and he stood there and I was looking up at him. And he said to me, what did you say about me in your videos? You know, because I've done videos saying that he's fake and he's just laughing at Graham Norton shit jokes. So this is the guy that has the fifth belt. Yeah. Uh, Deontay Wilder. Now I look at him and I think, how bad is four? <laughs> <laughs> Being all media friendly and media trained, stay humble. You know, all that shit. And I said, Lennox Lewis would have battered him in his prime. You know, I said all that in the videos, didn't I? In the past. And I think his little entourage pulled up the video. You know, of me saying that I think Lennox would have battered him in his prime. And so his little entourage showing him that video of me saying that. And then. I looked up and Joshua was walking towards me and he stood in front of me like that, yeah. And I was looking up at him and he said to me, what did you say about me? So I said, what did I say? And then he said, get out my gym. You know, like how Floyd Mayweather said to his dad. Get down, get out my gym. Come put me out, you mother bro. Come put me out of here, bro. Come put me out, mother well, you know, when Anthony Joshua told me to get the fuck out of his gym, I wanted to say to him, put me out your gym, punk. But <sighs> he's too big, too strong, like our Carl Flotch was for GGG. So it's a bit of a risk, isn't it? It's a bit of a risk. So I stood up and I was looking at him. And I wanted to smack him, you know. I wanted to smack him, you know, with a lucky punch from the gods. I wanted to fucking nail him. But it's a bit of a gamble, isn't it? Because you know, if I hit him and it didn't have any effect at all, and then he uppercutted me like he did Klitschko, you know, I could end up in a wheelchair like Gerald McLennan. So it's a bit of a risk, isn't it? But I can punch, you know. I know I didn't really achieve anything in boxing, but you know, in the streets, I've knocked out three women. So I can punch. In the streets, I'm unbeaten, like Mayweather. TBE. I'm 3 0 in the streets. TBE. The best ever. TBE. Yeah. Woman down. So I can punch. 
So, you know, if I hit Joshua, I don't know, it could have had an effect, but it's hard to say, innit? It's the unknown, innit? It could have had an effect on him. It could have really fucking, yeah, if I hit him with a lucky punch from the gods, it could have had a good effect on him, like it did on those three women. But it might not have had any effect, so it's a bit of a gamble, innit? So I just started to walk out of the gym when he said, get the fuck out of my gym. I started to walk out of the gym. And when I was walking out of the gym, he called me a clown, you know, like he did Lennox Lewis. And when he said that, I wanted to really fucking nail him, you know. But again, I thought it's a bit of a risk, innit? It's a bit of a risk. So I just went home. And you know, when I was going home, I was so angry with myself, you know. I thought, why didn't you fucking do something? How can you let him talk to you like that? And I thought, you know what? I might stab him like Kel Brook. Do you know what I mean? I might go back and stab him like Kel Brook. Because he might be big and that, but like, that's what I'm saying. Like, Kel Brook was a world champion, wasn't he? And he got put in hospital by some little fat cunt with a knife. So it doesn't matter how good of a fighter you are. Do you know what I mean? You know that Myra Hindley? She was just a little woman and she killed loads of people. I know they were only kids. You know, kids are quite easy to kill, aren't they? Ask Adam Smith. But still, anyone can fuck up anybody really, can't they? Joshua trying to bully me. I wanted to do him in, you know. It's true what I say about Joshua though, isn't it? He's already made that money. He's already secured the bag. So why does he still need to be media friendly? Just be yourself. You don't need to impress links. You've already made that money. Yeah, you've already secured the bag. Just be yourself. You don't need to impress Graham Norton. Just be yourself. Joshua trying to bully me. That's why I need to learn that jujitsu. Do you know what I mean? Because like, you know, it's all right being a good boxer, but on the ground it's different, innit? You know, if you can take a man down and put him in an arm lock and break his arms and... Do you know what I mean? Boxing's just boxing, innit? That's why I think Dillian White would beat Joshua in a street fight. Because he's got that kickboxing background, hasn't he? Yeah, that was a good kick, wasn't it? So I think he's got the edge over Joshua in the streets. And that's what I need. So I need to do that jujitsu, man. Yeah, they look all right, don't they? See, I wouldn't mind doing jujitsu with them. But you know, the thought of rolling around with a man, it's just a bit off-putting. It's a bit gay, isn't it? It feels a bit gay, man. But yeah, I'll do it with them. Yeah, I'll put that photo in to try and sex up the video. You know, sex sells, don't it? So, that sexes up the video nicely, don't it? It adds a sexual element to the video, don't it? Because he was getting a bit negative, wasn't it? You know, Joshua trying to put it on me. He was getting a bit negative. Joshua trying to bully me. I need to learn those moves, you know, like just so I can take him down and fuck him up. You know, take Joshua down to the ground and fuck him up, break his arms. You know what I mean? He's got that stand up fighting in it, but you know, on the ground. He won't be any good, man. So I need to I need to step my ground game up. So when he calls me a clown again, I can do him in. And I seen him looking at my Instagram story the other day. Do you know what I mean? So he's trying to like keep his eye on me, yeah. And he's probably gonna pay somebody to try and do me in. So you know, if I get done in, it's because of Anthony Joshua or Call the Contradiction Frotch. It's more than likely going to be one of those two. Anthony Joshua or Carl the Contradiction Frotch. So I need to be safe. Be safe. Joshua putting it on me. He threatened my life. He threatened my life. Do fight him, but don't threaten my life. Why did you throw the table, cap? That was some baby thing. Baby thing. Threatened. Cesaro. 
Joshua trying to threaten my life. But yeah, that'll do, you know. Thanks for tuning in again, yeah? Thanks for that.